Alright, coming to you from UB Gaming on YouTube, we got common special triple commentation by commentators UB and special guest Dr. AIDS, who, by the way, does not have a doctorate or have AIDS. We, yeah, that's just his name. Yeah, I don't have a PhD or anything. He doesn't have a PhD, no, no, no. I have a PhD in being badass, that's what I have. That, that's definitely what he's got. So, what we got here, we got a Domination on Firing Range using an AUG Dual Mag, an M1911 with perk set of Hardline, Sleight of Hand, and Hacker. That's what she said. How is that what she said? I have no idea. <laughs> Oh joy. So, with here with a triple commentation, we just uh, want to see how this works out. It's the first time we're trying this. But, uh, what we got here is we got, got, a, we got a final right finishing score of 71 kills, 16 deaths, and probably, uh, I don't know, four, four attack helicopters and just an ass load of spy planes and counter spy planes. We got here Bluebeard11. Gamer tag is uh, legit tenth prestige so far. Almost eleven. Almost eleventh prestige. Um, and just you know, he just pretty much had a rape sauce game. There's some pretty awesome kill feeds we got going on here. And there's uh, some topics that I'd like to cover during the course of this game. One of them is Viagra. Viagra, yes. Thank you for that diagnosis, Doctor Aids. You're welcome. So Viagra. Why did one use it? If you have an erection over four hours, please call your doctor. Because guess what? It's not healthy. <laughs> it's not healthy to have a boner for more than four hours. And if you end up getting one, either call your doctor or just get another chick. That's what I always thought. Or cut off your penis with a saw. That that would not, that would definitely work as well. Quite quite so. Um, Viagra. Why do men use it? Because they can't get boners. How does uh, it, how does this relate to Call of Duty? It, if you're in Second Chance. And you take Viagra, which is now a third perk, you can get back up. Which is the main reason why men choose Viagra over Cialis and Levitra nowadays. Because Viagra is now a third perk. Thank you for that diagnosis. Now, You're welcome. he's just called in his second attack helicopter, and it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, there's just those moments in time, you know, you gotta pull out that secondary, you know, that shitty pistol that you never want to use, and you pull it out, and you Shoot just gotta start shooting at a car, you know, just because you're bored. It's a great feeling. Like, it's, it's just like, you know, you, you just gotta do it. Like in the movie Zombieland, when now, the guy's beating the shit out of the van, enjoy the little things. Yeah, I have no idea how he didn't just die there. That, wow, fail. Okay, that guy. That's a great movie. That guy failed again. That is a great movie. Zombieland is a great movie. If any of you guys watching this video have not seen Zombieland, go, go to the movies. Go to the movies. Go rent it from Blockbuster. Go get it on on demand. I don't care. You need to see this movie. It's, I masturbate uh, to that movie. It's so good. Thank you for that diagnosis, Doctor. I'm Ray. just kidding. Uh, uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself if you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And so what we got here, you know, that this AUG is, you know, reloads extra fast because of the sleight of hand with the dual mag. The dual mag attachment is helpful because not only well, does Well, if you don't know why it's helpful, then you can just... Yeah, just yeah. I, I shouldn't stop. have to explain why it's helpful, but basically it just, like, tapes a magazine. Which, I don't know if they do that in the army. Like, legit. Like, you know, in combat, you know, you have a magazine taped. I don't know how many of those they can put together without, you know, wasting ammo. Do you think when they're bored in the army and there's, like, nothing to do besides kill people, do you think they'll just have, like, a circle jerk or something? I, I don't know. Okay, oh, so you see Hacker, you see the Claymore, and he has Hacker, but yet he walks into the Claymore. What do you have to say about that, B? What do you have to say about that? I don't I have nothing to say. I just felt really like a dumbass. Well... And Hardline Pro changes it from a shitty Sam turret into a Rolling Thunder, which is a very overpowered airstrike that can cover the entire map. Usually. Usually, right. yes. So what are the, some of the other topics you want to talk about today? Um, I'd like to cover the AK-74U. I just find, you know, it, it pisses me off, you know. I, I was hoping when Black Ops came out that they wouldn't put in another gun that was quite like the UMP-45, you know, that was overused, you know, silencer. Or, tracing back to those old days of World at War when people always used the MP40. 
you know. That was probably the most overpowered gun ever in any COD game. It's essentially it's it's, it's basically a scorpion that gets better range and has a much bigger clip, which you know. You unlock it. Especially with stopping power or jug, it's just unfair. Juggernaut. I'm so glad they got rid of that. You know what else I'm glad they got rid of? Owned. Drop shotting. Is it right? Eh. Coming back to you after this. Uh, no, we're not coming back to you after this because we're still commentating. Yeah. So, drop shotting. What, what do you think of it? Leave a comment in the comment box below. What do you think about drop shotting? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's right? Or do you think it's just a cheap way to avoid dying, you know, and not really so play? Camping. Like, it's got. Like my friend says, it's like camping except different. Very, very different. Thank you. Saved my life. Thank you, Tyler, for that very candid report. Okay. Next on the list, second chance. Why did they bring it back? I hate it so much. It's basically. Even though they passed it, even though they passed it, where you get to kill people on the second chance, I've gotten knifed and taken a chance so many times. It's the worst feeling ever. It, it really is. Just want to punch something. It, I mean, basically, it's for players who don't think that they they're supposed to die. So, oh my! Look God. at that kill feed. Look at that kill feed on the left. It's got a triple with an aug, with a couple extra bullets to spare. But seriously, if he if he goes to take a chance on the same glass, he should not be allowed to play. Do you think player? Do you think army men? Do you think you know soldiers in the army actually go into second chance? Do you think they actually have perks? No, they don't. They don't have perks. You think in real armies you get a hundred points for killing someone? No, this game isn't all that real. Not That'd really. Kind of fun. Although it it's very entertaining. You know, you think they, they the make real it promotion logo is like a spider on a cobweb. That's definitely yeah. It's probably stars. There are definitely something. prestiges in the real army. Definitely. That's that's definitely right. Uh, what else do we have on the menu for commentating topics today? Um, well, <laughs> delicious or not? I don't know. Leave a comment. <laughs> Hit markers with sniper rifles. Wrong. How do you uh, do? You think that those army snipers, you know, who are trained for years for you know trying to. You know, being a good sniper. Look at that commando knife. Sorry, very ADD, but that commando, they got rid of it. But yet, sometimes you can knife lunge farther than you used to be able to. So back to the snipers. Do you think, you know, like, when you're out sniping in the war field, do you think, you know, when you're sniping, do you honestly think that you shoot some guy in the arm and he just, you know, doesn't, you know, he just keeps walking? Or do you think his arm falls off? I think his arm might fall off. What I've never understood about Call of Duty, when you have, when you're holding two weapons at once, a dual wheel, and one of them's out of ammo but the other one isn't, why don't you just drop the one and keep the other? It helps so much, just like aim down the sight with the one. So true, so true. Thank you for the diagnosis, Dr. Aids. You're welcome. Counter spy planes, uh, they, they annoy me, but they're helpful, you know. It's just part of the gameplay. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that the real, you know, the real soldiers think that counter spy planes are really annoying because they have radar that just reveals to them when they shoot, of course. But still, truly, they should have flash quick scoping. They should have walked along. Quick scoping. I loved quick scoping just because it was a easy way to, you know. If you have enough skill to handle a guy with an assault rifle at close range and you have a sniper rifle, you know, you create that mismatch, yet you still win it. I mean, you should you should be able to keep, you know, they should be able to not patch that, you know, keep that just so it's fair. Because the secondary weapons in this game, let's be honest, they suck ass. You have pistols which aren't fair against rifles. You have the ballistic knife, which isn't practical at all. Victory! And, and you know, whatever. So, we won that match. We finished uh, 70, 71 and 16. And leave a comment, rate, and subscribe. Signing off from UB Gaming. Commentators UB and special guest Dr. AIDS. See ya. Yes, thank you.
Goodbye.